Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about the lessons from my missing hotel room. Are you ready? Let's get started. When Marissa, who's behind the camera, heard that this episode was called The Lessons from the Missing Hotel Room, she says it sounds like a mystery novel. Well, it's really no mystery. Let me, but let me tell you the story because I think there's great value here. A few weeks ago, I was in Atlanta, Georgia, and checking in to the Atlanta Hilton. And uh, I went to check in, uh, and I got there at about 5.10. And when I went to check in, they said, uh, Mr. Eikenberry, your room is not yet ready. Uh, it'll be ready in a little while. Give us your cell phone number and we'll text you when it's ready. And I thought to myself, this is not a real big deal. Um, it's all good. Then they said, well, let us give you a voucher that you can use in the lounge or over here in this other area uh, because it's going to be a few minutes. And I thought, hmm, that's a little unusual. It's 5.10 in the afternoon and there's no room at the inn and there's giving me a voucher. I'm afraid this may I may be settling in for a bit. But I didn't worry about it too much. Um, uh, in fact, I had a meeting with my team and we actually met in the nice lobby area and we had our meeting and in and, and waiting for my room, I never got a text, I never got a text, I never got a text. So our meeting is over, my team decides to go to dinner, I decide to stay because, well, I'm waiting for my room. And so I finally walk up, there's a long line pretty much all of this time, so about 8.30, I walk up to see if I can get an update, a status, to find out what's going on because the longer this is gone, the more concerned I'm getting. I mean, I've had a reservation for months. I've never heard of this sort of thing to have this kind of delay into the evening. So I stood it for a while and got up to the concierge and found out that they'd had a problem with their laundry facilities and so that they were trying to get... Um, the uh, more laundry in from somewhere else. In fact, I think the call, I didn't go up about 8.30, I went up about 7.30, because they said about eight o'clock, we're gonna have another laundry truck. So I'm thinking, okay, they've already told me that the rooms are clean, they're just waiting for linens. I've already asked if I could get in without linens, and they said no, uh, and a linen truck's coming in a few minutes, so I thought, no big deal, right? So uh, the time comes for the linen truck, the time passes for the linen truck, I'm just working because I got nothing else to do. And I see the line continue to be over there. And I keep thinking, well, the line will dwindle and then I'll go get in line. I did have some clue because of the linen scenario, but eventually I went and got in line, stood in line for about 45 minutes. Bottom line, I get a room at a neighboring hotel and I get to that room about 11 o'clock. Started at five, got into a room at a different hotel at 11. Well, so there's the story. And let me tell you what I think the lessons are. And the lessons that I want to share with you are not about hotels necessarily, although they would have certainly applied to the hotel that day. I think they can apply to all of us. So let me share these lessons with you. No mystery here. So lesson number one is that customer satisfaction starts with service recovery. Mistakes are going to happen. Things are going to happen. Linen uh, washing machines are going to break down, right? But my satisfaction as a customer was all, all came after that. Yes, in a perfect world, they would have had a room, I would have checked in at 510, all is well, would never have thought about it, certainly wouldn't have led to a video. However, how they recovered could have made all the difference in the world. And my first thought with the $15 voucher was, well, that's kind of nice. Because I'm thinking it's gonna be a short time and the $15 voucher is kind of nice. So the service recovery was a good start, but overall, epic fail, right? So let's talk about the how we do the service recovery, which are my other four lessons for you. Next is more communication, not less. Well, remember, they asked for my cell phone number so they could text me. Never during the entire six hours did they text me. I mean, they could have texted at any point and said, um, it's going to be a little longer. Hey, there's a laundry truck coming. Any of those things. Never got anything. So uh, more communication, not less. When I have none, I'm worrying. The longer I'm waiting, the worse it gets. The angrier I get. And while I wasn't very thrilled, I can certainly tell you there are a lot of other people in the lobby a lot more upset and a lot more vocal about the whole process than I was. Next lesson is more Frequent communication, not silence. I guess I hinted at this in the last one, but they're not exactly the same. We ought to be communicating regularly but we, and not, not just say nothing. See, here's the thing. 
I kept waiting for the line to get down. It never got down. I didn't figure there was any reason to get in line. But the reality is if I'd have gotten in line sooner, I think from what I figured out later, I would have actually gotten a room in the hotel. They eventually ran out of linens and sent me someplace else or couldn't get done or whatever. But if I'd have gotten in line sooner, I probably would have gotten a room earlier and I would have gotten a room there. Don't you think some thing better than radio silence would have been better for them? Again, it's not going to fix the linen problem, but it's going to change the nature of the conversation going on in my head as a customer. Next, all hands on deck. Uh, I was watching all this for several hours, obviously, and because of the work that I do, I was thinking about and what they were what thinking about and observing what they were doing as they were doing it. And at no point was there ever more than two people behind the counter to serve guests. Now this is a big hotel with lots of computers and lots of spaces, never more than two. I realize it was Sunday night and I'm realize, I'm realizing that two is probably who was supposed to be on duty. But when they started knowing they were going to have a linen problem and they knew they had a full hotel, don't you think you would have been calling some would have been better to call someone else in to have a few more people there, get all hands on deck, get a manager out there running a computer doing something more to change now would it have gotten us all into rooms? Maybe not. Would it have done? Would it have made made it better? Would it have magically created linens? No. But would it have changed the customer experience? Absolutely. We would have all, at a minimum, we would have, those of us in line would have stood in line less time. We got to put all hands on deck when there's a when there's a problem in your organization. When there's a customer service situation, everything else needs to stop so we can save the customer relationship and recover as best we can. It becomes job one. Lastly, be more decisive sooner. Again, putting myself in the shoes of the hotel, I'm sure they wanted to put us in their hotel and not send us somewhere else because that's going to cost them money with the other hotel. I get that. Um, but 5 o'clock to 11 o'clock, don't you think that we probably needed a room sooner. Uh, I, I'm guessing that people were delaying a decision as long as they possibly could. They weren't communicating about it. I'm suggesting that in almost any customer service mishap situation, if we'll be more decisive sooner, we'll have better results. So there it is. Lots more communication, more frequent communication. Get everybody on the task and be more decisive sooner. If you do those things, uh, you'll have better service recovery and uh, we can all learn something from the mishap I had in Atlanta. Let me close with today's tweet. Customer satisfaction can be increased with great service recovery. You know, a number of months ago, we created 13 short videos. We call it 13 Days to Remarkable Leadership. And those videos are a little bit like this one. In each one, I tell a story that leads to uh, results that leads to some next steps for you to take. The difference between those 13 and this one is that each of those 13 are delivered to you via email, one a day. And with each one, there's a PDF tool to help you apply those lessons. So if you enjoyed this video about my mishap and the missing hotel room, I know you'll love all 13 days in 13 Days to Remarkable Leadership. You can sign up at the link here.